decided to start my vlogmas vlogs a little early although i'll be putting this up on the first day of vlogmas so <laughs> you will notice that is early it's actually sunday november 29th and i am um planning to hang up my advent calendar i am keeping it in this box for now but uh, i've just read the um instructions so I have a Yarny Advent Calendar from Volmet Veve, the Dutch Indie Dyer, and um, I just read that she has a bag in there with Day Zero, and um, it contains what I need to hang up the other bags. So that's fun. <laughs> um, so I'm keeping my Advent Calendar in here. Uh, I won't show you anything else than the bags the yarn is wrapped in and the entire advent calendar is packaged in this custom bag so a tote bag and it's just so cute <laughs> um so i'm going to look for day zero and hang up the bags <laughs> been I have to whisper because this is a secret <laughs> I've also been making an advent calendar for my boyfriend I've made these little fabric pouches of some fabric that I had and I've wrapped a little gift in there and now I'm going to write the day on a tag and then attach it with some string. see that the advent calendar is no longer here it lasted about two hours and then the washi tape came off from the wall and in some cases it pulled some of like little bits of the my wallpaper so yeah it damaged it a little bit so i thought okay i'm not doing that anymore so it's now in a box right there and i get to open the first one tomorrow um, which will still be in this video. So you are warned if you don't want to see what it looks like, then you are warned. Um, and I just received a package. I'll just obscure, obscure my own address. And these are the last bits and pieces to go in the advent calendar that I'm making 
for my boyfriend who is just next door and uh, I thought I'd show you because this is um, I ordered it from uh, a small business I'm really taking care to this year do not buy anything of Amazon or other bigger websites where smaller businesses have a shop I try to order directly from them um, so if you're in the Netherlands, uh, Bol.com, um, I try not to support them because, you know, even though they might be a great company, but I like to support the small businesses directly. So, um, and I'm not going to tell you which company this is yet because my boyfriend, I think he's going to see my vlogs. So um, I don't want him to know, but I asked them, um just in case just in case i'm not at home and he opens the door to receive the package if they could remove any of their website names from the package so they and they did they took off their um their name here and something has been cut off here so they did and i think it's just uh you know a big franchise wouldn't have done that i don't think so Yay, small businesses, and yay, it's arrived in time, and now I can complete the advent calendar.
Okay, I'm just gonna wear a ponytail all day because it's not happening. And I wanted to show you my beret, but I'm not sure if I can pull it off with this hair. I'll just, um, <laughs> but anyway, I can show you the beret. <laughs> not really, though. Oh, but um, I took it off the bloggers, which is a big fruit plate. Um, yeah, blocking a beret <laughs> is really the most fun way I've ever blocked an item. And yes, that includes hats on balloons. I mean, the you put it around a plate. And then um, I used a thread to cinch in the I-cord and you get this beautiful fold line and it's just super fun. This is my second beret. I'll show it in more detail on the podcast on Thursday. But yeah, I'm gonna get my ponytail back in because... So you saw me unpack the first mini from my yarn advent calendar from Wool mit Fever. And it's a very moody, um, reddish gray color. And I love it. I love it. Um, and I can't wait to see what the others look like because um, I'm going to have to wait a few days to see what main color would pair well with it. So if you haven't seen my latest podcast episode yet, um, I'm going to be making a sweater with my Advent minis. Uh, kind of like this, like my uh, Around the World sweater, uh, but the Around the World sweater is color work all over and for this one I just want uh, the yoke to be color work and then uh, use a main color to finish it off. And I had some main colors chosen, um, just picked out of my stash and I showed those on the podcast. Um, but um, it is a different base than I thought. Um, so it's still 80% merino, 20% nylon, but it's also a very high twist. I'm not sure if you can see that. But yeah, it's a very high twist and the other 80-20 merino nylon that I had was uh, very plump and um, just I don't know how you call it, a rounder yarn, or I don't know, but uh, this is a higher twist. So, um, and I have some other yarns in my stash that are almost exactly the same, or maybe even exactly the same base. Um, one of which is this one by Ushitita. And I remember this colorway is apple teeny, so it's a speckled green. And right now it, I, well, now I only have one color, so it's really hard to tell. But um, the, um, the kit that I got, the FN calendar, is earthy whispers, uh, so it has earth tones and pastels. And I think this might go with it. Um, I also have a scrap of this, which is just a beige, and I might use that as one of the stripes or maybe the cuff or something like that. And uh, I also have this one, which is very similar in that it also has a high twist. Um, the color is also comparable, I think, to earth tones and pastels, but it has a gold sparkle in there. 
so um, I'm not sure how that would work. I would love to use it, but um, I might want to use it. Uh, I might want to use more of it because as it is now, I don't have enough to use it for the main color, so I would have to use it as a stripe or something like that. Um, and because I already have, well, I will have 24 advent colors. I'm not sure if I can use this, so I might save this for another one. And then I also found this one, uh, which is a uh, Corydale and British Mohair base. It's 50-50, so 50% Corydale, 50% British Mohair. And I got it from the place that I used to um, get my undyed yarns from and this one I have dyed with iron I think so it's um it's kind of like an oatmeal-y gray it matches my wall <laughs> yeah it's kind of the background color of my wall um and I do love it um and it's a mohair mix, so that will be delightfully warm. I'm just not, still not sure if I can make it work with just one skein of the main color. I'll have to do some calculations, and I, or I might just make it shorter. Who knows?